This is my view of uh, clinical psychology professor Jordan Peterson. I'm not a big fan of Jordan Peterson, but as much as I've heard of him, I found him useful to a good extent. But the reason why I won't endorse him or why I don't accept his ideas in, 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 in its entirety is because I find him uh, endorsing or say accepting a lot of bullshit ideas and uh, one of the major issues with Jordan Peterson compared to other thinkers like Sam Harris is that Peterson complicates even the simplest of things even things that can be explained in two three sentences he makes a big mess out of it and totally drives the questioner the people who ask him questions insane for example when Jordan Peterson was asked does he believe in God he simply answered as for, for that first you have to define what do you mean by believe and what do you mean by God for God's sake Jordan you've been talking about God and uh, you've been talking about God Christianity, Christian literature, the Bible, Jesus, and everything in your book. You've been accepting all these things, and yet you pretend to be, pretend to get ambi ambiguous, pretend to mystify, pretend to, you know, occultify whatever you're trying to propound. That is the issue that I have with Jordan Peterson. He he's got a lot of factual. He said uh, he said a lot of useful things, which are factually correct. But when it comes to philosophy, when it comes to the nature of truth and other ideas, he just totally gets it wrong. I mean, I don't know if it's strong on subjectivity. And one of the other problems that I find irritating with Jordan Peterson is his stress on meaning. Sure life requires meaning and a meaningful life is definitely a happy life but a happy life may, might not be but however he stresses on meaning so much that the moment uh, like you could end up constructing meanings that have no basis in reality so as long as your meaning is oriented or steps from reality it'll truly hold some meanings some goodness but the moment you end up or you step into fantasy land you my friend are not gonna do any good for yourself you're taking the wrong train and that's where I fear Jordan Peterson's philosophy could end up in if the person who's using it is not sane enough it's just dogmatically following Jordan and if he doesn't need to dogmatically follow Jordan, then he doesn't need Jordan for Pearson. This is the reason. And the worst thing is that Jordan Pearson smuggles in concepts like evolution, theories like evolution, to support his ideology. At the same time, he tries to say that Richard Dawkins was wrong. Uh, his meme meme theory was wrong and would say Carl Jung's pseudoscientific archetype theory is correct however this archetype theory was is only 200 2000 years old and it's not even so widespread in all parts of the world it's only a bit more prominent in the west. it's only prominent in the west to be honest so even before 2000 years people were pretty much living moral lives they weren't going around murdering people in fact only after religion came in only after religions uh, started to flourish that murdering increased uh, murdering in the name of God and so on all these terrorist activities increased so Jordan Peterson I still don't denounce him completely because whatever he says that is not very deep 
the things he says about anxiety, you know, are useful. They are like he's like a self help guru who give you hacks about different things to manage yourself. But the moment you try to get deeper into his philosophy or his conceptualizations, you end up regretting why you made the choice because he is just mystifying things more and more and he's got a particular an analogy and he'll extend it infinitely for example if you have an idea or uh, say something that you look up to some ideal that you look up to that you consider it beyond yourself whether it's duty whether it's love or anything and Jordan will quickly attempt to morph it into God so he'll label it as God to the idea that you hold as the highest in your life he'll consider it as God and even if you say that you don't believe in God you're an atheist he will object that and you use God in your life so you or not an atheist, he will say. And he's also got the bad idea from Dostoyevsky's novel, Crime and Punishment, that atheist, atheism or uh, lack of religion causes, you know, if people don't, if people aren't, are not religious, they'll go around murdering people. And that means a rational society cannot function stably. That's, that was his argument. Unfortunately, even before Christianity, people did live sane lives. And even after that, in secular societies, the crime rate has been much lower compared to religious societies. So I think that should sum up what Jordan Peterson is made of. I must say that Jordan Peterson is even worse than Deepak Chopra because Deepak Chopra used Eastern religions, Eastern religious philosophy to market his merchandises and market his merchandise and he makes a lot of pseudoscientific elements. Jordan Peterson does not add so much of pseudoscience but the amount of false philosophy, the sophistry he adds into the table is just painful to watch. I mean, he's just making a straw man out of his opponents and pushing f forward his goods every time. And all his arguments really lack much credibility if you assess it deeply. And the worst part is that they aren't clear. They never have any clarity in them. And the the amongst amongst all ambiguities of Jordan Peterson's speeches, the most evident and obvious will be that whenever he, although he speaks in support of the Judeo Christian literature, whenever he speaks of God, he hardly ever takes the definition of God from the biblical literature. He might do it sometimes, but Really, we all know the Sky Daddy of the Bible is a sick man. I mean, like, I don't... Uh, the activities that he's done in the Bible, it's, it's not really worth phrasing so much. Jesus was far, far better than the God that was described in the Old Testament. And Jesus has softened uh, the stupid rules that good old Yahweh made in the Old Testament so however Jordan Peterson won't talk about that God because the moment he talks about that God his ideology is finished so he will borrow some elements from Eastern religions however he will pretend that he's still talking about the God of the Bible the Christian God and that is where he smuggles in Eastern religion and mysticism and uh, by doing this, he does this at one hand and also he does not seem to accept meditation as the way 
to uh, the way to peaceful life. He's he seems a bit more focused on prayer and other things. The only thing that I'll suggest Jordan Peterson and his fans is to try practice meditation, especially mindfulness meditation. Maybe they will see the mess they're making with all their speeches and we'll try to simplify what they're saying and make our life simpler. Thank you for listening guys. Much love.